Have you ever seen this or this or this? Websites and apps being down is really frustrating for users, but not just them. After all, will nobody think of the shareholders? Every second that an app is down could be costing tech CEOs thousands of dollars. So to make sure that Bezos has another fantastic year, it's our job as backend developers to make sure that our servers are available, reliable, and durable. And let's talk about what each of those means. Now, availability is the easiest to understand and also probably the most impactful. It's often measured in nines, like three nines or five nines. And that just represents how often your service is available out of the total amount of time. If your software is being sold, especially to another business, it's very common for the seller of the software to include a service level agreement or SLA. And that will usually specify how much availability is being guaranteed by the seller of the software. Obviously, more availability is better. And all high availability means is that your server is up and running. It's not down. Again, this is really easy to understand. When it's down, you're going to get errors as an end user. Reliability, on the other hand, has to do with how well your service is working when it's up and running and available. For example, let's say that you're Google. If somebody searches for what's the best place to learn backend development and it responds with a 500 error, then your service isn't available. But if the search engine does respond, but responds with something that's obviously incorrect, then we'd say that it's not being reliable. And this usually happens because some part of the infrastructure isn't available on the back end. So the system as a whole is available, but maybe some of the data that the system needs to function at the highest capacity or the highest quality, those aren't working. And finally, we have durability which is really about how well our service is able to recover in the event of a disaster. For example, let's say an intern drops one of our database tables on production instead of on staging. Well, do we have backups? Are those backups automated? What if the building that our server is running in loses power? Do we have automatic failovers to another building with another server running as a backup? Durability is all about redundancy and the ability to safely and automatically recover in the event of an outage.